thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I, I have no questions for the proponent of the bill. I just want to stand in very strong support of this concept. Um, it's a good bill, and it's one that, I, like I said, I strongly support because as we go through life, mankind does have a dark side. And history is really our only way to maintain the perspective necessary to avoid repeating our mistakes and to avoid allowing atrocities to happen. Genocide does not happen in a vacuum, and it doesn't happen at the drop of a hat. It's something that takes years to develop. And history has shown us when we forget. It's easy to allow the victimization of an entire race, creed, color to occur and simply figure that it's somebody else's problem to deal with it. As an American, I'm proud of the role that we play in this world to stand up for the weak and to protect the innocent. This is a bill about genocide. It's also a bill about the Holocaust. And just to frame the reference of the Holocaust, we always talk about the six million Jews that, that died at the hands of a terrible person that perverted the minds of an entire people to create this genocide. But lost in that picture, amongst those six million Jews, there were a million and a half children. Tiny, innocent souls that never got to live their lives. And for those of you that have not visited a Holocaust museum, there is a very nice one in New York City. And of course, there's a national museum that exists in Washington, DC. But I challenge anybody to walk through that museum and see display cases of children's shoes and dolls and not have their breath taken away. But the Holocaust was greater than that even because there weren't six million people exterminated in World War II, there were 12 million. People of color, gypsies, Muslims, Anybody that was not of the Aryan race was expendable. And the world stood by, figuring it was somebody else's problem to let that be solved. So the reason this bill is so darn important is that we should never forget history and allow ourselves to turn away. It is our job to stand up for the weak. I'm proud of Connecticut and the General Assembly because we spend an awful lot of time on bills to protect the weak, whether we're working in the IDD caucus, we're working on education, we're working to have better equity in the results of education and not just have it depend on the zip code of where somebody exists. Not that that's a genocidal situation, but it's all a matter of social justice. So I'm one that believes you must stand for the weak, and we should never forget. So through you, Madam Speaker, thank you very much for allowing me these words. Thank you, sir.